We're up to Velochin Nimshala Tera Lamayin, right? We learned last time the Nefeshala Kitz has three Levushim. Machshava Diburu Maisa Shaltaya Mitzvah Satera. That means Tera Mitzvah exist in the form of Machshava, in the form of Dibur, in the form of Maisa, like the Alter Rebbe specified before that there's the Machshava is in Limura Tera. Iker Dibur, he said, by Talmud Teira, Kineged Kulam, Machshava is in Limur HaTeira, Amus Mitzvah are Maisa. These are the Levushim that the Nefesh HaLekis is able to express itself with. Even though they're Levushim, usually a Levush is something that's lower than me that I use to accomplish something. In this case, the Levushim are higher than the Nefesh HaLekis itself. This we learned last time. The Nefesh Elekis says, Chelek Elekami Mal Mamish. It's Elekus the way Elekus became a Nivra. Masha'in King Teira Mitzvah came down, it's Elekus came down into Teira Mitzvah's Kameshahu. The Loch, and that's what the Alter Rebbe said until now in the Perak, in this second part of the Perak, that even this Chiddush, that even though the Ebishter is in Saif, and Teira Lechaira is Mugbul Dekesfaris. Mitzvahs are Mugbul Deke acts. I can't put something infinite in a container that's finite. Right? Doesn't work. Doesn't fit. Nevertheless, that's the Koyal Yochel of the Eibishter at Simsim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Ritzayin Eifel Chachmasei Betariyag Mitzvah Teira Vilchisein. And he's continuing on this theme now. Velochu Nimshala HaTeira Lumayim. That's what we find in Gemara and Chazal. That Teira is compared to Mayim. Hoi kol tzomei l'chul l'mayim. And it says, what's the comparison? Ma Mayim yerdim imokim gavoya l'mokim namoch. Kach ha Teira yerdim imokim kvuda. Shehi ritzene yechachmasa yisbarach v'raisa v'kotshebrich l'kul l'chad. So Chazal say that Mayim is yerdim imokim gavoya l'mokim namoch. Said al Rebbe, the comparison of Teira to Mayim is because of this Indian in Teira. That Teira is Alekus Mamish, the way Alekus, it's the Muhus of Alekus, the way it came in the format of an idea in Teira or of a Maisa HaMitzvah. And that's the Chiddush of this Velachim. Until now, the last part of the Perak, the Alter Rebbe explained already that a Raisa of a Kutshibricho Kulachad, that Teira Mitzvah is Alekus, the way it came down into Teira Mitzvah. Fine, we find that in Chazal, he brought that from the Rambam. Now, the pshat is, in Hishtalshalos, there's two ways. Usually, Hishtalshalos means that the thing that was Nishtalshal, that came down gradually, that descended, became less. All of the Elamis came from Elikos, right? Va'ato mechaya kulam. And nevertheless, the Alekus and the Elamis is the Alekus, the way it was Nistamsim, it was Yere, the Mishtalshal, so that it's a lower form of Alekus. Let's look at the way it is in a person. The Reishas Ashtalshalus of the Sphiris is Chachma, right? Chachma, Mayayin Timatse, Chachma is Reishas Ashtalshalus. The same thing in a person, the beginning of the Hishtalshalus of a person's Keches and Chushim is from Chachma. A person understands something, his seichel gives birth to the midas. That's the first say that's the part of the hishtalshlos. I understand that something is good for me, and therefore I have a feeling of desire for it, or vice versa. The mida comes down into my sebepeil because I feel that I want it, therefore I, I do according to what I understand that I should do. Now, let's say we appreciate the benefit, the advantage of Seichel, Chachma, it's so high, it's the beginning of the Shtal Shos, right? Not because of that am I going to say, oh, so the Maisa, the act that I did, if I'm building a new house, it came from Seichel, oh, so I'm going to go live in the house, and I say, oh, I'm connecting to Chachma. I'm not connecting to Chachma. The Chachma was watered down. It came down in Midas, there's Seichel in the Midas, it's a lower form of Seichel. When the Midas comes into the Maisa, it's a lower Midas for sure, a lower Seichel. It comes even lower. In Nishtal Shalos, the thing that's Nishtal Shal is descending. It's going, becoming lower. It's becoming watered down. 
the well, they say a story about Yichus that uh, someone went knocking on a cave in the forest. Said, Who lives in this cave? He said, what do you mean? My, my grandfather was a lion. He said, who lives here? Who's in here? He said, what do you mean? My father was a wolf. He said, who are you? He said, I'm a dog. I've been a hunt. The yichas could get watered down also. It's nishtal show. Yeah, but it is. We feel from the eltel to zayda and the einikol. Whatever. Something is there. It's a real thing. And yet, it's very, it's uh... So, the Alter Rebbe adds this vilachim. When we say a lekus came down into Tera, that the Eivish there with the Mitzvah is Keil Yochel, that was the Uftu of Matan Tera, that Tera Mitzvah Seiraisa is Kutsche Brichel, it's Kulo Chad Mamesh, because Tera is Nimshala Lemayim. It's not just a Hashtal Shalos that it came down, so it's not the same way as it was. The Moshal of Mayim is to bring out this point. The water itself comes down to the lower surface, to the lower place. In the same way, the Alekus and Teira, the Muhus of Alekus Kameshahu, is there in the things we understand in Teira and the Maisa Mitzvahs. Bemela, Teira Mitzvahs, Farbinti Nishama, with the Muhus von Alekus, with the Ebishter himself. And that's higher than the Nishama, like we're going to see. Therefore, Tera is compared to, to water. Just like water. Water, the water itself goes from the Makim Gavaya and it comes to the Makim Namach. The water that's on the lower surface is the exact same water that was in the higher surface, but it came down. The Uftu of Matan Tera is the Ebish took himself, and put himself into the Tera Mitzvah. Kacha teira, same thing as with teira. Yardo mi mokin kvuda. Shehi ritzei nevi chachma si yisparech veiraisa vekutshe bricho kula chad velis machshav atvisa beklal. Teira in its origin, in its original form, in its source, in its shevish. And the chnish kim fashtan de gezach v'al says ein zach mit the Like we said, it's hu amad avu ayideya. Eibishter, we don't understand. So, Chachmasai of the Ebeshter, which is one with him, who are we also can't understand. What Teira is, Bisharsha, Bisharsha is Elikos, the Ebeshter himself. And that's the same exact Teira, even though now we're learning something that we could understand, we could explain. A Ben Chamish Lumikra could understand it. Simple idea, seemingly. You could explain it to the simplest person. This is the Zelbet Teira, it's the Mayim. It's the same exact thing that was the Mayim. How could that be? This is the Keil Yachal. This is the Uftu from the Ebeshter from Matan Teira. O Misham Nasa, near the Teira, Kameshahu, Nasa V'yarda B'Seser HaMadregis M'Madrega L'Madrega. The Teira came down B'Seser HaMadregis M'Madrega, went from level to level B'Ishtal Shalos HaElames. Ad Shanislabsha B'Dvarim Gashmim V'Nyane Yelamazer. Until the t- alikus, the teira, which is alikus, what's the form that it has when it's given to us? What's the teira? I put on a tzitzis made out of wool that came out of an animal. I put on tefillin that came from the leather from an animal with the parchment from the skin of the animal and the ink. That, it's all dvarim gashmi. But these dvarim gashmi, this is the same alikus. It, nothing changed, it just came in this form. The Ebishter gave us these Dvorim Gashmim so that we could connect with the table. And that's what the Alter Rebbe describes it. Nasa v'yarda b'seser hamadregis. What's the touch b'seser hamadregis? It says, I think in Rashi, I think it's a Lashon of Pasuk. Madregis is the steps. Ishtal shalos, if we want to picture Something going down, it goes down by steps. Steps describes the gradual going down. Go down another, it becomes lower, it changes. Seser Hamadregis in the Pasuk means something goes to the bottom of the step. There's two pshatim, I think. One pshat is it cracks through the back of the step and goes down, not in the regular place of the step. Mm-hmm. One pshat is it's, there's animals that live by Seser Hamadregis, they make a hole in the middle of the step and they live there. 
And the kud is both, both pshat, it's not the regular usage of the step. The regular usage of the step of madregis, the regular process of ishtalshalus madregis that are mishtalshal like a chain, is in a way that as they gradually go down, they become less, it becomes a different mitzis. It came from elikos, but it's not elikos. When we speak bechlal about elikos, elikos, there's ebishter and there's elikos. It's about ebishter. There's chesidishkeit. Chesidishkeit. There's things that are in general affiliated with chesidishkeit. Teiro mitzvahs. It's ebishter. It's not something that's connected. It's not. It's about. It's not that general idea. That's b'seiser hamadregis. It went. It, it went through the steps but not via the steps, through the steps, so that it came down as it is into the, to the lowest level, which is Ilmansiyah. So there's two things that are in Gashmis, Mitzvah Satera, V'hil In other words, that that the Eibishter, Brought himself down, the Seyser Hamadregis, into Teira Mitzvahs, the way it was given us, given to us, gives us the ability to do Mitzvahs. The Mitzvahs are in Gashmas, we're putting on a physical tzitzis, we're putting on a physical tefillin, we're giving physical stuka and so on, we're eating a matzah. And Vihil Chisayan, we're learning the halachas of the Mitzvahs. If the halachas of the mitzvahs didn't come down into being halachas of dvarim gashmim, we wouldn't be able to grasp it, or we would have a harder time grasping it with our seichel gashmim. If you would have to understand the abstract idea, the Mittler Rebbe said that uh, he once went to see the meet in the street, they should speak about Yehuda Ilah and Yehuda Tata. Right? What's Yichud Eila and Yichud Tata? He went to Baran Pasach Eliyov. The Rebbe once by a Fabrengin said a story, everyone knows the story, spoke about Merkesh Lechem, two Bachrim that were Merkesh, Merkesh Leches, somewhere, I forget. And they thought they're not accomplishing anything, and they spoke with a Bostonian English, the Rebbe said, and they had such an effect, the people were so impressed, and so Besecha Dvarim, the Rebbe said, they were walking and they were speaking about Yehudi Ilah and Yehudi Tata. So the Rebbe said, Akapanim Lefi Erkam, to them that was Yehudi Ilah and Yehudi Tata. That means you talk about Yehudi Ilah and Yehudi Tata. You understand it? Avifal du Fashtestas, Yadina Fashtestas Andish. In the times of the Rebbe Rashab, there was once two Chsidim who were having an argument if we could understand Yehud Ilah Bittl B'Mitziyas today. Or we have no shaykhah to that. We, we can't. They were arguing. In the middle of the Rebbe Rashab came out. He asked what they're arguing about. So they said, so the Rebbe Rashab said, Vasa Deshaila, do ya or do nisht? Depends on the person. Right? However, if you have to understand two people who are fighting about a talus, if you have to understand even a guy, a crazy guy, sticking his hand out and holding it for 24 hours, you don't know why he's doing that. But you could understand, because it's in Dvarim Gashmim. Now we could understand it thoroughly, exactly, precisely. So the mitzvahs and the halachis, the understanding and the performing of the mitzvahs connects us with Eibish Dermamch. Now the Alter Rebbe says another point. Furthermore, by the Teira coming down, Beseser Hamadregis, it's Betsirufe, Isis, Gashemis, Bediai, Allah Sefer, Esrim, Varba, Svarim, Shabbatera, Nevi, Muxuv. It came down, Teira, even in Gashemis, Tika Isis. What does that change from what we said before? The Ebishter, when, when you're learning Gemara, and you're learning a Svara from a Rashi, from a Tesvis. You're learning a Lekos. Whatever you understand, your Seichel is being connected with Eibusha, like the Rebbe is going to elaborate in the next parrot. That's why Chassidim, the more he learned Chassidim, the more he had a Koch in Limit Anigla. There 
Chassidim who used to say, Omar Rava, the Ebesh Terat Gizak, Omar Rabbi, the Ebesh Terat Gizak. But sometimes there's a person who has to nicht this word. That itself is a Chiddush, right? The Ebesh Ter said, you're understanding a Svara about Akira as Gufek, Akira as Chifet, what you're understanding, it sounds like a slum. No, that's a Lekos. When you understand that, that's a Lekos. We were recently in a Gersa Kedush, right? But even if someone doesn't understand, the Chiddush Matan Teira did even more than that. In Teira Shabik Sav, the Oisius themselves are Teira even without understanding. An Amoretz gets an Aliyah, Lo Yoda Maika Omar, he doesn't understand the word, and he makes the Brachas, Brachas HaTeira. What's he making Brachas HaTeira? Brachas HaTeira is a Bracha on Teira. And not just an Amoretz. If I'm going to look around the table and say, Bacher, Haint has to gesagt Brachas HaTeira. Gleich nach Brachas HaTeira has to doch gelernt Teira, right? So it shouldn't be a bracha of a teller. What is to be learned? What is to be tracked? Which has to be learned? Teira, gleich nach birchas a teira. Right? What was going to be the answer? Better not to ask. Aber mir macht auf dem birchas a teira. And not only, that's teira. In teira, the likus is not just in the idea, not just in the maisa ha mitzvah. It's in the oisius in teira shabik sav. And those oisius, that's the difference between Teir Shabbat Sav and Teir Shabbat Peh. That Teir Shabbat Sav, the oisius itself is Teir. Teir Shabbat Peh is a constant. And therefore, Vafilu Kadesh Teikol Machshava Tvisa Behen. Yadir Machshava for Yadir Mensch. Right? This is a Siyua Lechera to the Pshat and Kol Hanishama, that it means every Nishama of every person and not every part of the Nishama. I said more. Every machshava that's in every person should be tvisa b'han. I say kol machshava. Even a shvacher in machshava, aber the oisius can anamen. And even someone who's the dibur umaisa, the lower keches of a person, could also connect with alikos through dibur umaisa. Vafilu dibur umaisa shalamata mi madregas machshava. Tvisa b'hanu mislabeshes b'han das chapt on the teira. Teira is what alikus the way it came down b'seisar amadregis kameshu a rice of a kuchi brichu kula chad. The Ebrish to put himself into teira in a way that every single person and all of the keches of the nafshalakis the machshava dibur meisa vert for insek mit the Ebrish to mamish through using our machshava dibur meisa to connect with teira in these various ways. And this is the sphere of the explanation. Therefore, the levushim of the nefesh alikis, pick up the nefesh alikis. Usually the levushim is below me. It's something that I'm using. It's a tool. It's something under me that helps me. I use it. No, this is something above me. And when the nefesh alikis, tutsachan in the levush, it puts on this levush through putting the machshava into the machshava of teira, the dibra into the dibra is durch dem vert the nefesh alikis ufkai when it becomes connected with teira like he says miyacha sha teira. So when the person uses like he said in the beginning of the parak all three levushim of the nefesh alikis. So the all the keiches of the nefesh alikis are each mislabish in the levush that fits for them. So then all the keiches of the nefesh alikis are one with the eved himself. So we could sit here and, uh, and be apathetic about this. We uh, not get excited, not our heads. Yeah. But we're supposed to be, this, these in Yanim are supposed to get us excited about Teiro Mitzvahs. That that's the most precious thing in the world. It's higher even than the Lukos of the Nafshal Kis. And this is what Chassidus teaches us, how to appreciate, how to value. Miyachar through Teiro Mitzvahs, through these Levushim. Shatero mitzvesa malbishim kol eser bechines a nefesh vechol tarya de vera, me reshavad ragla. Hare kula tsura bitsreir hachayim esavayim mamish. So, first of all, that's the main point of everything we learned in this parak, that Tero mitzves is not just instructions, commandments telling you what to do. Tero mitzves is a connection. Mitzvah tzavsa vechibar. Tero mitzves connects every. To every aspect of the keches of the nefesh focus with elikus, 
Bemela, when we use those levushim the way they're designed to be used, kula tzrura b'tzerachayim, the entire neshama is tied to the Ebeshter. That's the bet. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're explaining. Teira mitzvah is what connects us through. More than that, va'oyir havaya mamash makifa umalbisha meresha va'adrag. Through teira mitzvahs, oyir havaya mamash, the oyir of the ibish der mamash, because we said the alikus and teira is alikus kameishus the mahus of alikus. It's a vayim mamish. It didn't change or get watered down or get lowered at all through coming down. And when my levushim, so if I put on, if I'm mislabish in a, a, a armor that protects me, yeah? If I'm mislabish in that, then I could go in the most dangerous place and be protected. If I'm mislabish in teno mitzvahs, which is elikos, so besides that I'm connected with Elikos, that Levush is surrounding me, I'm protected by Elikos. I have nothing to be spoil or be afraid or be worried about the world around me because I have the most powerful and strong armor that surrounds me from all sides. That's the Eir Avayim Mamish. Makifa Umabisha surrounds it and encloses it because the Nishama is Melubish in the Eir Avayim. Meiresha Vadragla, obviously we mean the reish and the regal of the neshama, which is not a physical reish and regal, but the highest part and the lowest part of the neshama. Every aspect of the neshama is a lakos. That's the goal. That's what we're in the world for. It takes time. It takes a way It takes work throughout our life to get ourselves to learn more teira, to do more mitzvahs. And the goal is that we live our lives and we become a mamish makitam kamesha kasav. Tsuri, Echseboy. Tsuri, the Abish is my rock, Echseboy, I depend on him. What does it mean I depend on him? Because when Eira Vaya Makifu Mabisha Meresha and Ragwa, the Abish is my protection. The Tayro Mitzvah, which is Alakus Mamish, surrounds me and protects me. Achsiv Katsina, Ratsin Tat Renu, the Ratsin of the Abish that's in Tayro Mitzvah, um, anoints the person like a shield. Shahurit Seine, Vichachmasi, Sparacham Lubashim, the Tayrasa Yamitzvisa. So we explained what is Teiro Mitzvah, and what is the mile of Teiro Mitzvah, and why that's a benefit even for the Neshama, because the Lekos in Teiro Mitzvah is higher than the Lekos of the Neshama. All that we explained till here in the past. Therefore, I'm going to say, Chazal say, Yafe Shah Achas Pichuvo Maisim Tevon Boilam Hazem Ikol Chayu Ilam Abba. It says in the Mishnah, that one moment of tshuva ma'isim tevin be'ilam hazeh is better than kol ha'ilam abba. What does that mean? Ilam abba, it says, that what, yafe, the same Mishnah says, yafe sha'achas shal keiras ruach be'ilam abba, mi kol ha'ilam hazeh. One moment of ilam abba surpasses all of the pleasures of ilam hazeh. So what's better? What do we have in Ilam Hazar that's better than Kol Chayilam Abba? The answer is the enjoyment, the pleasure is more in Ilam Abba. Because over here, everything, Elikos is here, it's Behel and Behester. We don't feel anything. We don't see anything. We don't appreciate anything. But the Elikos, the actual level of connection is much more in Ilam Hazar even though we're not seeing it and sensing it. And in that, because of that, one moment of doing, of taking advantage of this connection that we learned about till now in the Perak, is better than all of the enjoyments and all of the Matan Sechar and Elam Abba, which is like he's going to explain. Ki okay, Elam Abba, what is Elam Abba? What's, Elam Abba? What's the ultimate Sechar? Does he have enough from Elikos? That in Elam Haba, the Nisham Elikos is Begili, and it has enough from Elikos. That's the ultimate. Shenan in Miziv Ashina. The Nisham has enough from the Ziv, the Shine, the Ray of the Shina. Shehu Taimo Gahasaga. What are we, what kind of enjoyment could you get from Ziv Ashina? Appreciating the greatness of the Ebishna. We don't see this so well. If we try to picture 
the most fun experience. What's the most fun experience in our imagination? You go uh, bungee jumping, sky, sky, sky gliding, right? The biggest enjoyment is to be nana, to understand the greatness of the Abisha deeper and deeper than all the other things is, is not to, is, is insignificant. That's the Yafa Shacha Shalkiris Ruch Bilamaba Mikhail Khail Maza. But the Hasaga, that that the Nisham is grasping the greatness of the Ibishtar and having the unimaginable pleasure from that that we can't even picture. But the Hasaga is not the Ibishtar himself. Because uh Mugbo, even the Nishama when it leaves the body. So it doesn't have the Hagbalas that it has in this world, but it's still a Mugbal because it's a Nivra. The Nishama, we said again, is Nivra. It's other because the way it came in a form of Nivra, which means Mugbal. A Nivra is a Mugbal, and the Ibish is Mugbal. And therefore, Iyaf Shalashum Nivra, Pilu Mehal Yainim Lahasik, Kiyim Eze Ha'ara Meravaya. The Nishama that's a Mugbal can't grasp the Ibish to itself. It grasps a Ha'ara, a outcome. That goof is the reason why Chazal say that the Nisham is Nana Miziva Shechin. It's a Ziv, it's a Ha'ar, it's the rays and the shine that comes out from the Ebishter. But the Ebishter himself, the Nisham is not connected to even in Ilam Haba. It's too high for it. Over here in Elam Haza, when we connect with Teiro Mitzvahs, it's Kiyim Kashet Tfisa, Mislabeshes, but Teiro Mitzvahs, Aza Hit Tfisa, Bahen, Umislabeshes, but Teiro Mitzvahs, Umislabeshes, but Kadish Borchu, Mamish, the Raisa, the Kadish Borchu, Kulachat. So till now, in the Perak, we explained. Um, the levushim of the nafshalakis. In Parag Beis, we explain the mahus of the nafshalakis, that it's alakus, so that we could understand and appreciate the mile of Ayid, that Ayid is chilek alakam imamish, mimal mamish, vaser is, regardless of how he behaves, he's alakus. That puts uh, appreciation of the privilege and the responsibility of Ayid. Parag Dalit explained, vi hechtus of zain, but what there's higher than that, and that's Teiro Mitzvahs, and that's the ultimate goal and the ultimate kavanah. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll finish the parak and start the next parak in Mitzvah next time.